vendor and uh, marketing agents, Ben and Tracy used to mind. We appreciate you coming along to the auction. Just a reminder before we begin, if you have come with the intention of bidding on the property, here's a requirement that Access Canva that you registered in order to bid. Now, if you've registered, you would have met Tony inside and you'll have a blue registered bidder's paddle and I would just ask if you decide to make a bid, if you could just hold that number up so we can record it in line with our Access Canva requirements. Uh, the good news is I've had a look at the contract. It's a standard ACT Law Society approved contract. That's the instrument under which we're about to sell the property today. I'm just going to quickly take you just through a few particulars from the front page of the contract. The contract advises me the land we're selling is block 17, section 109 in the division of Charmwood, also known as 12 Ariata Close in Charmwood. Our seller is Ann Johnson. The contract is prepared by Velocity. The stakeholder is Luton, who's a selling agent from our Bell Corridor office. We're offered vacant possession and the goods include the fixed floor coverings, light fittings, the window treatments, the dishwasher, the garden shed and the cat run as inspected. And we have a date for completion on this contract of on or before 30 days unless prior to the auction you had negotiated and had accepted different terms from either Ben or Tracy. Standard set of ACT auction conditions in play. They state that the auctioneer may make one bid for the seller of the property at any time during the auction. If it does arise that I exercise the one bid the vendor's entitled to, I'll make it quite clear to bids on behalf of the vendor. Each person bidding must be entered on the bidder's record. The auctioneer may refuse any bid, and the auctioneer may decide the amount by which the bidding is to be advanced. The auctioneer may withdraw the property from sale at any time, and I may refer a bid to the seller at any time before the end of the auction. In the unlikely event that there's a dispute about a bid, the auctioneer may resubmit the property for sale at the last time the bid for the sale of the bid. If there was a dispute about a bid, the auctioneer will sell after the auctioneer's decision is final. Sale is subject to the reserve price and the highest recorded bidder will be the buyer subject to that reserve price. And importantly, if a reserve price has been set for the property, uh, which indeed it has, and the property passes in below the reserve price, the seller must first negotiate with the highest bidder for the purchase of the property and the buyer must sign the contract and pay a deposit immediately after the fall of the hammer. You've heard all that before, haven't you, Tony? I can show you next time to do it. <laughs> It'll be a good time to be in case, well, I think there's a bit of storm coming across, but it won't be like it too long. I thought, yeah, I thought it looked fantastic on the internet, it's great to come and see it. So the colours and the renovation, but also just the feeling of space and some nice contemporary features with that um, nice thick red seal, it really opens the house up. You've got this lovely float of this outdoor uh, area here, and a nice big parcel of land underpinning your investment, some uh, 940 square metre parcel of land, they're certainly not making uh, Lots of land in the real estate district. You know, you don't have to drive in and have a look around the amount of capital improvement that's happening, and a lot of that's off the basis of uh, the good sized blocks that are available. Just talking to the owners, easy walk down to the shops in here, and that's the centre that continues to go from street to street. Great access to uh, schools as well in the area, and also to public transport. So there's a lot to like about it. It's ready to move into and start enjoying living in the big block that anyone else go along in the land. So good luck if you've registered. Big day for you. Happy to put it in your hands and call for an opening zero offer. We would like to start the bidding. I would think from here it wouldn't be unreasonable to call on a rise of $20,000, but you can bid more if you like. So at $500,000, you're away, you're in the box seat if no one else bids. Because if no one else bids, we negotiate with you and I've got a very realistic result. So $500,000 it is, calling on a rise of twenty. dollars bid more if you like, but at $500,000, good time to bid. And twenty dollars now, I've got you in the middle, registered bid at twenty two dollars and five three and forty. dollars I've got you first. So registered bid at twenty five against both sides. At $540,000 and sixty, dollars it is back at the start. So $560,000 and $80,000 is in the middle, registered bid at $25,000, dollars $680,000 for money. Six it is, back with the starter at six hundred. dollars 600,000 and take 10 now if you like. We're in the strike zone. 10, I've got you down the middle, sir. Register bid at 25, 6, 10, and 20. Back with the starter. Register bid up. 36. At 620. Take another 10. 630. Register bid at 22. 20. You go five. 20. About two and a half. No, I'm going to leave it here at 6.30. At 6.30, I'll take a rise at two and a half, otherwise you're in the box seat, sir. First call at 6.30 and 32 and a half. So we're in two and a half and 35 it is. 6.35.
37 and a half, 640. You're allowed to bid out this side if you're registered, because it feels a little bit late across this side. 640,000, it's a nice block of land. 640, are you getting some instructions for me, Mr. Oostermeyer? So you've got the bid, sir, mate, no mistake, at 640. Thanks for having a word with our seller. So 640,000 is the bid if you're there in the outer. What do we say, Mr. Oostermeyer, at 640? It's going to rain soon. <laughs> I'll, I'll take 42 and you want to go two as well? I'll just get the instructions. What's the date? So over the back of the So register bid is 35. It's over the back. 642 is the bid, Ben. increased bid. So it's with you, sir. You got the number there, Tony? It's last bid at 645 is the bid. What do we say, Mr. Oostermeyer? Six hundred and forty-five thousand dollars is the bid. So 645 is the bid, Ben, what are we saying? We're selling or negotiating? Can't work hard if I'm hot or cold. Just stand there and the sun like so bright on me. Right, good news ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Mr. Oostermeyer has just confirmed the instructions with the vendor we're going to be selling today. So it's 6.45, oh. sir, you're holding the bid. It's over the back, it registered bid of 35. Property's on the market, it's for outright sale. If you're here to buy, we're selling, don't hold back. First call at 6.45 and we're selling it now. Second time to be sold now at 6.46. Watch out. Take one off here too now if you like, mate. Give the number two. So 46 for outright sale. 646 is the number. You done? I'll go 647. 47. 50. 50. Nice deal. 650. Are we done? If you remember what you paid. 650. Okay, here we go. Selling it now. First call at 650 to be sold today. Second time at 650 and we're selling. We'll go 651. 51. 52. <laughs> you're out. Appreciate your bidding if you don't. So let me know if you change your mind. Because at 652 we're selling it now. First call, selling at 652. Second time at 652, you're out. Third and final call. 652, bids here with sir, selling, 652, you're done, we're out at the back, 652 it is.